Yo, what's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. It's your boy Space coming at you with another video. Um, today I got an install video on um, my Speed Factory Denton Spring Kit for K Series. So, essentially, what this does is um, when I select a gear, it's basically gonna make it firm instead of sloppy. So it like, you know, eliminates all the all the slack that's in when you are going into gear. So before I start, I gotta explain a little bit on the tools. You're gonna need um 12 millimeter 3 8 ratchet. Oh, you can do half inch tool. It doesn't matter. I got a 3 8 so I'm using 3 8 And a torque wrench. So I'm gonna show you what bolts you gotta take off. It goes by like one, two, and three. So I'm not really sure if it matters by um which one you do first but i'm gonna start with one two and three like what it says on the speed factory website so this is my k24 training it's from my 05 accord came with my long block like i explained in my last video um so all right so neutral that's how you know for it if it's in neutral you go up and down pretty much um these are the three bolts this is one two and three so I'm gonna crack this one. I'm gonna do one by one. I'm gonna crack this one first. Put this, take out the spring in the ball, and do it like that. Okay, so I just went to the Speed Factory um, website, and it does say do one at a time. So they say that you have to be careful, don't lose the ball. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I got it out pretty good so far. So I'm just gonna do it by hand. So that's the first spring. The ball right there. So it's the first spring goes inside the ball. So this is the OEM spring that it comes with, and it goes inside the bolt like so. The ball is already in there. So I'm gonna grab a. Uh, one of the Speed Factory ones. I'm gonna place it in there. And I'm gonna put it back. So right now I'm just hand like doing it by by ratchet first and then I'm gonna torque it. So just in case that you guys wanted to see the ball, the ball's in there. This is the third one by the way. So this motion you kind of just like want to like push and turn it until um you feel it threading because basically once it's, once you start threading it'll catch then and it would it wouldn't push it out pretty much. So I just get it all the way so I can't anymore with my finger. Then I take the torque wrench and 16 foot pounds is what you want to want to use. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, that Speed Factory's instructions is to go by the OEM spec. So. And we're done. Here's the part number in case you guys want to use it. That's, that's what I'm going to be running on my car. I won't be able to have a review of the race springs yet up until, um, you know, when the car's finished. But 
I'll remember to do it for sure. Because I felt this transmission before in a manual stock. So I'll have the comparison of, you know, of it going into gear better. Stuff like that. So hopefully, you know, in the future we can have a little bit more of these installs. But um, that's it pretty much it for today. Um, I'm, I'm rearranging a little bit inside the shed because it is type crowded in here and it's like kind of hard to remember where I put, put certain things. So yeah, I'm trying to make space, have more organized, have all the boats laid out. And um, soon, soon that thing is going to have the motor in it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't stop building. Thank you.